subscribers and watchers my name is Uzair Aziz and as you can see I have started my channel just now and from now onwards I will be uploading my tutorials Photoshop tutorials most probably so don't forget to subscribe my channel and today I will teach you something very interesting which is I will I will convert this picture into this picture or how we will do this this is the before and this is the after there are few things which have which you have to learn before starting this tutorial you at least you need to know the basics of Photoshop or else you will not be able to proceed forward or you will have many many problems so let's start so I'll open this picture in Photoshop or oh, it's all yes all right open first of all by pressing the C shortcut C or by clicking here the crop button I I'll increase the canvas or the frame so I can give more space to my sky to make a picture look more attractive all right so then click OK or you know the take button. So, what I have to do is I'll remove the sky from the background and I'll add a new sky. Simple, all right. So, before proceeding forward, always remember that to make a copy of a layer. So, if you mess up somehow, so you you have the original layer. So, how to make a copy? There are two ways to make a copy. At least I know two ways. First of all, you drag the layer and drag it here and you'll make a copy. Alright? Or by pressing Ctrl J, you'll make a copy. So, now we have a copy. Now I want to remove the sky which we have here. So, how do we do it? So, the basic, you know, how do we remove the sky so we'll have to increase the contrast so yeah so the basic uh, criteria of selection here is the contrast the more contrast you have the more easier selection it is so how do we remove the sky i'll increase the contrast first i'll make another copy we have now three layers in all so I'll increase the contrast I'll make a new adjustment layer by clicking here and then clicking levels so I'll you know increase the contrast and inc I'll increase the highlights see I have increased the contrast and as you can see all the background is somehow white so now I'll merge these two layers now we have one contrasted image and the other the normal image so I'll remove the sky from here how do we remove the sky it's very easy I'll go to the here and I'll select the magic razor tool and just click here on the white part as you can see the, we, the sky is not removed somehow and the reason is uh, our background layer is enabled so when I'll disable the layer we have no sky so in order to make sure that nothing in order to make sure I have removed everything I'll I'll add a custom um, color or like a black or somehow a dark color to check from where from which part I need to remove the sky so from here just use the magic laser tool because since it's plain color from here here 
Oh, it's a building. I don't think so. Uh, oh my god, we have removed some parts of the car too. No problem, we'll fix it later on. And yes, we'll, we'll remove this too. We'll remove this too. And 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 and, and we'll remove this too. We'll remove this too. So I have removed my sky but I need I need the original image not this image so what I'll do I'll control I'll press the control button and I'll click this layer so the layer will get selected so what I want to do is I need the I need this portion this specific portion from my original layer so I'll click my original layer and and then I'll press control plus J and now we have the same portion of the layer in from my original layer so yeah I need to fix this I'll, I'll add I'll add I'll copy I'll copy this portion from my original layer see this is the this is the benefit of preserving your original layer in case you mess up you have something pen tool is a little bit hard for the beginners but it gets easy once to get the hold of it so now I have made this selection I have made this selection which I want and I'll just press selection here and ok so I'll copy this layer layer by copy and I have this still I have some portion missing just leave it there you can just copy from the original layer later onwards I just need you to tell how to remove the sky so here we are now I'll I just want this my sky image and we have here I have it here this is the sky I'll be using it's my own image I just keep capturing image to collect my own stock images so it's in the foreground I need to place it in the background just drag it below the layer and adjust it and scale it a bit all right now in order I just have to make sure that some of the white outlines are not there in my picture so I'll again control click this layer and I'll go to select modify and contract I'll contract it by one pixel and now I'll go to select inverse and press delete or backspace button this deletes all the white you know outlines you have in your picture So this is not our final image and now I'll make a new layer and merge all this all these layers into the new layer by pressing control plus shift plus alt and plus e and we have all the layers merged into a single layer now I'll go to filter and camera raw filter 
in case if you don't have camera raw filter you need to download it from the Adobe website it's free so now I'll open camera raw filter and I'll align this I'll, I'll, I'll align and rotate a bit and scale it up and then I'll, I'll go to the radial filter I'll and I'll increase the contrast a bit and I'll increase the vibrance I'll increase the sharpness and, and we are done you can play around different techniques and I, you can play around these options and sliders and choose the, the best you think what's the best and click OK and I'll just uh, I'll crop it a bit I just need you know most of the sky part not the crown one and here we go so we went from this to this Thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe. Bye bye.